Hi, it's Jason from DrPreMed.com, and I'm very upset about something that I heard today um, online. One of the pre-med societies, what they did, they actually had an MCAT tutor come into their um, college and speak to the students yourselves, like what you guys should be doing to prepare for the MCAT. And one of the things I know a lot of the pre-med students are concerned about is the MCAT in particular, the CARS section of the MCAT. And so this, this was a group, I guess, of more of the underclassmen, like freshmen and sophomores. And this MCAT instructor told the students that they should spend a lot of their time as freshmen even just going to the library or going online and picking out books on literature, philosophy, all of those other topics that you may expect to see on your MCAT that you're usually not going to be doing, that's usually not going to be a part of your normal reading and literature. And so they said to do that so you can become familiar with the terms, familiar with the way that um, the sentences are written, how the passages are come together. And that's absolutely the worst advice you can ever give somebody in regards for MCAT prep. And there's actually a story of how that came about. It happened was way back in the day before the 2015 MCAT when there was something called the verbal reasoning section of the MCAT. Students were in a, in a commercial prep course and they weren't doing well on the verbal reasoning section of the MCAT. And so the students were paying a lot of money for this course and the instructors needed some type of tangible advice to give to these students so they wouldn't demand their money back or anything like that. And so this instructor went back to his peers at the company and they went to the head honchos and they came up with this philosophy that, okay, we'll give them something actual that they can do. They should go and read widely and broadly. This isn't going to help you on the MCAT. That's not going to help you with what you need to do to get a top MCAT score because reading widely and broadly isn't what the MCAT's testing. It's CARS, critical reasoning, critical analytical skills and abilities. That's what the MCAT is testing you in every section of that exam. It's not going to be like, oh, did you read Hemingway? Did you read, um, what, is, what are some of the classic books? Um, Romeo and Juliet, they're not going to be on your MCAT, but I'm just thinking off the top of my head, Aristotle, things like that. That's not what the MCAT says, and they may put those topics on there, but they want to know, can you infer what the author's thinking? Can you think about what's the next plausible argument that's going to be made? And all of those type of things. They want to see if you can do second-order deductions, jump to third-order conclusions, and you're not going to get that by reading all of these far-fetched literature philosophical types books. That's just not going to happen. So what I want to hear from you, what are some random strategies or tactics people have been telling you to do to prepare for the MCAT? Drop me a line in the comments. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. And there's a lot more that you can do to improve your um, MCAT. I have my MCAT cars section in my MCAT Master Companion course and there's actually a sec section called how to think like a, do a lawyer to actually ace the MCAT cars section. So if you're pre-med and you're getting ready for the MCAT, definitely take a look at my MCAT Master Companion course because that's going to help you out and it's not going to have any BS tactics like just read widely and broadly to get yourself familiar with the MCAT. You guys need actual tactics that you can use that are actually proven to improve your score in the MCAT. And this is Jason from Dr. Pre-Med signing off. Thanks.